The four-wheel drive utility vehicle was originally designed for war. It was World War II, and the American-made military jeep quickly earned its stripes, plowing through mud and muck on the road to victory. Today's SUVs are modern versions, and prove that the concept has transitioned nicely into civilian life. When the road ahead is rough or disappears entirely, a four-wheel drive utility vehicle keeps on going. Production of this custom SUV begins with the mandrel bent frame, made of thick steel rails. A worker welds brackets to it for attaching parts. This one is for a shock absorber's nitrogen tank. He attaches a link for the sway bar and suspension arms. He then welds super thick braces for shocks to the front of the chassis. He measures the space between them to confirm that there's adequate clearance. And then fits heavy-duty calipers over the brake rotors installed at the front. The front brakes are a six-piston system for extra stopping power. He now fits the coil-wrapped shock absorbers to the front axle and bolts them to the braces we saw welded to the chassis earlier. This is a preliminary installation. The parts will all be tightened more precisely later. It's time to give this custom SUV some supersized wheels. He positions the rims on threaded bolts protruding from the axles and then secures the installation with lug nuts. The tires are 8-ply with deep tread for off-road traction. This SUV chassis is ready for power. The team wheels the chassis under the 8-cylinder drivetrain and carefully lowers it into position. This powerful engine will generate a lot of heat, so it needs a large-capacity radiator to keep cool and prevent damage to the engine. Once the steel chassis has been coated with a protective finish and the fuel system has been installed, production shifts to the next stage piecing together the SUV body. This pre-assembly will ensure all the aluminum parts fit together flawlessly. After this, the SUV will be completely taken apart for painting and then put back together again. He hinges the doors to the body with thick steel pins that hold up to wear and make the assembly easy. He attaches each window frame to the lower door panel and checks the fit. Any gaps could allow the wind to whistle into the vehicle. He confirms the parts align and that the door latch works. He bolts the steel roll bars to the SUV body. Once he's satisfied that the framework meets all the specifications, he'll take it apart. The paint is a powder coat finish. It's ionically charged, so it gravitates to the negatively charged parts as it's sprayed. Once baked in an oven, the coating forms a skin that's tougher than conventional paint. They also coat the underside of the lower parts with a heat-cured finish to reduce wear and to muffle vibration. They now piece together the lower body of the SUV and assemble the dashboard and the instrument panel to the front. They bolt the seats to the floor, and once other parts have been welded to it, they lower the assembly onto the chassis. The chassis has by now been completely wired. The parts mate perfectly. It takes about 250 person hours to build one of these custom SUVs. We've shown just the highlights. When it's complete, they test everything from the sensor-activated step to the windshield wipers. Once they confirm that all systems are operational, this SUV is ready to hit the back roads. High off the ground with four-wheel drive, it's equipped for whatever lies ahead, and there's sure to be a few bumps along the way.